All right. So we will start. We have uh, just a minute. I'll admit more people. All right. So we have around 20 candidates now. Right. Right. So let's begin questions from. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Uh, Welcome everyone. Now we have around uh, 20 candidates uh, in this uh, session. Uh, we should move. I had some problem with my settings in the beginning in a couple of uh, initial couple of minutes, but now we'll uh, move uh, fast and we will try, try to take uh, question, more and more questions from different people because see, remember, it's not only the questions that you have to ask, there are also questions that others will ask will be useful answers to which will be useful to you as well. All right. So listen to the answers and the questions and experiences of other people as well. And that will be beneficial to you. And if you have to miss certain part of it, then uh, this will be posted on uh, YouTube later on yeah. after some editing and everything. So you can uh, watch it again over there as well. All right. So uh, moving uh, yeah, I would uh, request all of you to uh, mute yourself and uh, uh, when you have questions, raise your hand in the, in the virtual way and that way we can, uh, like I can uh, talk to you. And if you are comfortable, you can also start your webcam. Uh, that way I will also be able to see you and then we can have a two-way conversation. All right. So uh, I see on my screen, I have, I have uh, Dr. Baldeep Singh. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, Dr. Singh, please tell me uh, what... Sir, first what of all, I would like to thank you. I have been seeing your videos since one year and uh, from one month, I am currently in uh, Germany mm -hmm. and uh, I'm doing a hospitation in Papenburg in, in, a, in a Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I thank you for all your guidance. Uh, I am actually a medicine specialist. Uh, mm -hmm. My wife is a gynecologist. Okay. And we both are uh, here doing a hospitation yet. And uh, uh, I want to ask you a few questions. Uh, yeah. Whether uh, I have done my Indian PG, can I get mm -hmm. uh, some benefit of that yeah. in Germany? Okay. On, and uh, uh, mm -hmm. when I do work in hospital, for how long must uh, mm, must it? <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, as you can offer Deutsch question. This is good. Okay. You can okay. speak in German as well. <laughs> I, will I will understand. Under while wildish pressure in doish assistant in mission. It's okay. It's okay. For free free of Ishmael's television or the we feel right nurses in a in a cranken house or Brighton and was canish for mine Indian PG tune and if ish have mine unterlagen so a new needles action is a big shift and we feel dower test. For minor FSP termine and we Zoltaish for the for Brighton and Zoltaish mm -hmm. for the Cantis Perfung Auk, yet for Brighton and Welsh courses mm -hmm. Kanish Unterneman. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So basically, you want to know how the way forwards is from this point, right? So the entire path we will uh, want to know. So fine. We'll, uh, I'll answer you one by one. See, the first thing is that you said uh, how much duration of your training in India will be counted as a, a residency in Germany. So how much discount you will get? That is what is uh, you want to know, right? So this yes. direct answer to this is not possible. No one can tell you directly uh, mm -hmm. how much uh, will be. Uh, because as you have sent your documents to the NITSA, the NITSA Daksisha, uh, uh, there's a for Aprobatsun Sertailung. Yeah. So uh, they will analyze your documents and then they will tell you that how much uh, they accept from the three years of trading that you have in India and how much you have to do more. See, don't expect too much there because see, in Germany, the internal medicine plus, uh, for example, internal medicine is five years. If you do cardiology, anything else, then so six years. Yes. So you have as it is three years in India, right? Yes. So that they will maximum what they can give you is a three years like maximum okay but that mm -hmm. i don't think that's going to happen so what you can expect is a around maybe one year two years discount okay, okay. and uh, rest of that you will have to repeat uh, in germany in the hospital here okay. mm -hmm. uh, since you're doing hospitation and you already sent your documents to nitsa now about mm -hmm. neither's accent is so that neither's accent the process is a little slow Okay, so uh, there, there uh, one has to expect some time, at least five, six months time. I don't know how when you have sent the application, but uh, that much time has to be expected uh, before uh, you can hear about the Fakshprak Prufung appointment. 
okay, okay sir. and about about kentness proofing kentness proofing you can uh, obviously you can i mean the the work that the study that you do for fox park proofing helps you in kentness proofing as well because okay. uh, fox park proofing is at one level and then when you deepen that then becomes kentness proofing yes, okay so uh, you study uh, very sincerely fox park proofing right now don't focus much on the kentness proofing i mean you can study side by side uh, okay. but uh, the work that you do the study that you do for fox park proofing will help you in kentness proofing as well it will take time in introduction it takes time that is okay. that is uh, yeah about the courses there are many courses uh, online offline courses are there uh, which one can enroll in uh, like when you in if you have something near your class, i mean where location where you live you can enroll there uh, that is mostly impractical since you're doing hospitation then one has to go on the online route only because then that's more like practical you can do on weekends yes, on the evenings and all so that uh, that is how i would say uh, right now you're in waiting phase so you'll have to wait little more unfortunately yes, so sir. all right so uh, dr singh if you have more questions we'll talk it uh, take it at the end we'll give others also a chance so okay, that uh, we can move ahead and uh, uh, then we'll come back to you because all right kartik kartik please go ahead kartik kartik please go Hello. ahead hello sir good evening good evening sir i have a doubt regarding uh, whether gaps in internship or gap after internship do affect our cv or any further prospects uh, in our germany no uh, gaps per se don't affect anything uh, only thing is that it has to be completed that means the 365 days of internship the 12 months internship that has to be completed and uh, when you have that complete even there were gaps in between that does not matter in no way in 0% influence okay sir thank you very much wonderful so uh, then uh, shireen shireen yes Hello? please go ahead sir Hello. Hi, hi, doctor. You are doing an amazing job. You know, you are helping people so much. You're doing such you. an amazing job. I just wanted to know. I'm working as a GP aesthetic in Dubai, and mm -hmm. um, my MCI uh, registration is long time back. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just wanted to know that it does not have a particular, uh, ex uh, you know, a month wise thing for internship mentioned uh, because i read somewhere in your in one of your videos that you have to mention the duration of each everything of your internship no uh, for internship you don't have to mention that not have to mention i just need no, an no, mca registration you need an mca uh, registration and for M, uh, for internship it has to mention that you have done 12 months of rotatory internship in different departments yeah so that the, the, they have you, mentioned yes, in my mci yes. And yes. then I have a DHA license, a Dubai license, because I'm yeah, working yeah. 2015 in Dubai. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I, I am trying to learn German. It's so hard. I don't know how to do that. So uh, our 23 participants <laughs> will agree to that. Uh, that German is not very easy uh, language oh God, to learn. But like... with a course of time, hopefully it will work out. And it takes time. Even though when yeah. you learn uh, till B2 level or C1 level, uh, getting learning language and getting a certificate is a different thing yeah. than actually practicing it and using it in real life in Germany. Right. So so what do you right. suggest doctor like how to get hold over german uh practice more practice <laughs> i mean i cannot uh give you anything uh like a, a different perspective on that because that's right. the way some some things are you have to be uh right. in german they call it durchmachen so you have to go through right. it so right actually you know i have i i worked in saudi arabia also so i learned arabic also so i'm thinking mm -hmm. that if i can learn one language i can learn perhaps the other language also yeah. but did you, uh, did you write in arabic as well over there in saudi arabia or wrote in english i wrote a little bit because i am an indian and i ha i am from lucknow and uh, i am a muslim mm -hmm. so we have that urdu thing also in our culture okay. right so okay, the script yes. is same urdu and arabic yeah. they have the same script if you have yeah, the same yeah. script, you can actually write in Arabic also if you if you know Urdu, right? Yeah, yeah. So that is the thing I I got it. But and in German the script is same, but yes, uh, it's like a totally different thing. And sometimes I feel that I have to unlearn a lot of thing to learn German. That is true. That is as true as everything in life. Like to learn new things, many times you have to unlearn certain I'm things. Uh, I am yeah. I am not bothered about time. the. 
bureaucracy and stuff like that you told that you're you'll have uh, juniors working over you and you know you'll ha mm -hmm. have to, i'm not bothered with that because i'm working in an environment it's very diverse and i mm -hmm. have people who are younger than me and uh, who are over me and um mm -hmm. dubai is like a very diverse cul culture so yeah. um, i don't i don't think that is a, the only half the problem i feel is the language language that is the, that is the biggest problem that uh, other participants will i'm sure they will definitely agree uh, dr singh is already here so uh, he will also agree to that that language is a hurdle and if you overcome that then other things yeah. fall into place okay there yeah. other things fall into place it takes time obviously a couple of years uh, here and there uh, but things fall in place and there's one more thing you mentioned about the uh, the the job contract that you have to get yeah right before yeah. you go, you don't get visas if you don't get the job contract right you come on a particular visa that is a recognition of professional qualification visa 16d okay. visa it is called uh, so you come right. on that for the purpose of equivalence like you can do a hospitation on that visa you can search jobs on that visa you can do the course the fakshi prakrufung uh, training course you can do so those those things you can do but to work as a doctor you need to have a work permit and for to have a work permit you need to have a license in germany as a doctor and the entire fight is about that license that uh, how do you get the license for that you have to take the exams and get your prof, uh, documents recognized and everything so uh, you get a contract when you have the license because no, no hospital will give a contract to yes please please go ahead yeah i'm sorry uh, but you said that there are two areas where indian doctors prefer and it is hard to get contracts from those two area the job contracts and it is easier to get job contracts from other areas i don't know is there something like that you mentioned oh, i don't think i have mentioned anything like okay, that okay, i'm sorry <laughs> uh, uh, no no uh, it's, it's not like that see uh, in certain areas it's not uh, specifically about indian doctors it's about all international doctors basically it's about right. the, the number of vacancies that is available certain states right. which are big states and have lots of hospitals uh, there obviously they have more vacancies there are different types of cities big cities small cities uh, village areas so vacancies and then there are uh, certain places which are industrial areas there is a lot of population a lot of everyone wants to go there right. uh, so right. uh, there so you get difficult you have difficulty getting job contracts but the rule uh, per se rule is the same thing i mean a rule is not different uh, every state okay. has its rule basically but mm -hmm. uh, depending upon areas there's no rule as such the rule is same only thing is that upon depending upon the competition uh, mm -hmm. your chances of success are oh my god yeah. all right all right Thank so, you so uh, we'll take welcome you're welcome i hope that you uh, continue watching my videos and i hope that i i will more i'm so fond of them the moment i see it i go there <laughs> wonderful wonderful i will definitely put this part on my youtube youtube so that others also motivated for that sure <laughs> all right so uh, we'll take next question from rishi please go ahead hi sir how are you i am fine rishi how are you i am doing well sir uh, so uh, just a little background now mm -hmm. since a month i have moved to cologne and i am mm -hmm. living here i am uh, my course my fsc uh, for baratin course is going to start in next month now mm -hmm. uh, my question is sir two prong uh, one is i want to understand how does someone from the level of b2 start preparing for fsp like if you can make a video or give some tips right now as to how do we start because there's a lot of material outside and i'm slightly confused if i should do hospitation along with my b2 for baritone or i should do my fsp for baritone first to get done with it and then do a hospitation uh, i would say you prepare for uh, fsp first because um when you are already in germany then uh, you don't yeah. know when your exam date will be right okay. so in exam date uh, it can happen that okay you do you start doing hospitation at a particular place for say 2 3 months and suddenly you get a exam date for fsp now in that situation you will be in a fix because you have not prepared for the exam and then you will have to uh, oh, like uh, so uh, uh, shirin can you please mute yourself yeah, I'll, I'll i'll mute her then uh, good fine so uh, i was at uh, that you might get a date for which you are not prepared that's why it's important that you prepare yourself first for the exam and yeah. then hospitation you can do after that and about right. learning it uh, and if you want to do do it simultaneously also people do it simultaneously as well that if you get an hospitation opportunity start hospitation and the prepare for fsp online like on evenings and weekends and with online courses and all those things yeah so that is also one way to go about it 
okay. uh, about the books you must be already knowing that uh, the books that uh, what you say uh, there is um, fall book All is the there fall yeah yeah uh, that that i have talked about and i can also make a video about the resources of the uh, right that's a that's going to be a long uh, conversation uh, going right. into each and every detail now so my course uh, it begins in november and goes up to february is that a normal length for a fsp four bar item course that long uh, it's a it's a good thing no? it's a long course then where where are you uh, which course is it like which institute is it if you might uh, this is from medicine in cologne uh, it's called uh, say i in human medicine for fsp four bar item okay so is it a sponsored course yes it's a sponsored course Yeah, that's why the sponsored courses have the uh, must have fulfilled this requirement of particular number of hours of the course. Okay, okay. that's why they stretch the course so that it becomes mostly just three months, so that the government right. sponsors that course. Otherwise, if it's a short course like uh, four weeks course, seven weeks course, then the, they charge the candidate themselves. The, those are not sponsored courses. Okay, so, but so. ideally, once one starts, uh, I'm looking at does it really take three months to for one to be prepared, or is it shorter? See, uh, depends upon your preparation, how intensive right. you prepare. Right. If you, pre right. I would say three months is optimum time to prepare for the exam, so that one can pass in first attempt. Okay, so okay. three months is not a uh, too much time, and three months is also not very less time. I would say. Three months is a good time. You can prepare for that because if you prepare hastily, what you can prepare right. in two months also and one month also. But then that is there is a matter of that you are doing it like hastily. In that time, if you don't pass the exam, you always feel that okay, I was not well prepared. Yeah. So uh, this three times, uh, three months time is a good time where one can plan accordingly and right. use all the resources, uh, revise everything properly, and then go for yeah. the exam. And then that time, one is like full prepared. That, okay, now I have done my bit, and now let's see what happens. Right. Okay. So and so one more thing uh, from yes. what Doctor Baldeep was saying. Uh, now my girlfriend is also uh, she wants to come to uh, Germany, and she has done her DGO, that's Diploma in Obstetrics and Gynecology, mm -hmm. and that's a two-year course in India. and yeah. uh, she is also worked after that now when mm -hmm. when i was making my application to nrv they had a waiver which said that mm -hmm. i will not apply for good action and yes. if in case she applies in the same manner that she comes here to get a first or uh, fsp exam and everything mm -hmm. will she mm -hmm. be able to later on uh, get a good action or is that waiver counted so if you uh, see waiver is for kentness proof form okay waiver is for kentness proofing okay and not for the uh, nrk no for the okay. pg okay right. so that waiver can be the kentness proofing can can be waived that means she can say that okay i mean not kentness proofing can be waived the good act in the initial part can be waived one can say that okay i don't want to do good act because it's cost 1700 euro nowadays mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so uh, they can say that okay do i want to take kentness proofing after doing the kentness proofing passing the kentness proof one can go for anerkenung of the post graduate diploma post graduate okay. uh, qualification okay yeah. and is the experience that she's worked after her degree also counted experience will be counted uh, she will have preference in the hospital during interviews uh, if the hospital if the salary structure you mean to uh, ask about the salary structure right if the sal during salary uh, counting her two years of experience will be counted and she will be taken directly into the stufa dry uh, or yeah. uh, she will be begin so that depends upon uh, workplace to workplace ideally it should happen okay. but some workplaces are little like mischievous in that sense and then they don't want to do that what one okay. can do is that one can get that uh, recognized by the erster kramer okay okay and the erster kramer do does that uh, recognition of foreign uh, not qualification but foreign work experience So okay. That means she has a foreign work experience of two years. That means when mm -hmm. she starts work in Germany, she will start uh, start as a third year person, third year person, right. two years of experience. So right, that one right, can right. get done from the Erster Kramer. And if the Erster Kramer right, then one has to uh, push the hospital a little bit. That okay, look, yeah. don't do that in the first six months because first six months is probationite, you no, know, so uh, probation time. But after six months, one can push a little bit and get the salary increased. Okay, that does right. not make much of a difference. Like hundred yes. euro something per month, it makes. Uh, but one can definitely try for that. Right, right. So, so those were all my questions. Thank you very much. I just had one Hello. suggestion, sir. Uh, if you can increase your social media presence by putting out more posts or maybe doing a podcast or something like that, it would be really helpful because there are many other people doing it. And I'm just like, if I can hear it from uh, Deepak sir, then you know, it comes. It's like you can really attach to it. Okay, fine. I'll try. I mean, see, uh, it's it's difficult. Uh, it's not I that know, I don't I want to. Yeah. It's not yeah. that I won't don't want to. I want to, and yeah. uh, this has developed over the last five years. It has developed significantly. Uh, the channel has developed. The consulting business has developed. So, yeah. but then 
uh, thing is that uh, time, everyone has the same time and I don't have a big team which can do all these things. So I'm trying to get some interns and everything. I'm working on it. Uh, let's see how it works out. Okay. I'll keep Definitely. that in mind. Thank you for the suggestion. Definitely. Thank you, sir. And and it will be very helpful if you, uh, Rishi, can also uh, share our content with other people. That will also help to build. Uh, Absolutely. I, I, I do that anywhere in possible. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, Dr. Sushmita, please, please go ahead. Mm, hello, sir. Uh, hello. I want to say thank you first because last month I directly messaged you on Facebook and still you replied me about okay. the, like, I asked you that I'm dentist and I want to actually know the scope of dentists there because I don't, I didn't, I don't know any dentist there, like how they are doing it. And, and in August I've applied, uh, I've done my documentation process. So mm -hmm. how long till till now I didn't get any like uh, in August you applied no? so it, it's like only two months right and yeah, which state so, have you applied to if I'm asking actually you? so I don't know I have uh, oh, okay I don't know it's done by some person so I'm very much confused mm -hmm. about all this like how much time I'll take to go and everything I'm studying in my language till B1 I have done it in B2 I'll be mm -hmm. giving exam next month. Okay, so, okay. And majorly, I want to know how dentists are doing that, or is it worth it to go or not? See, uh, everything comes with its challenges. So it's not a very easy path, especially for dentists, uh, because you have to uh, like do lots of practicals in, in the exams as well. So, and the passing rate of the exam is 50, 60 percent. So you, so the, it's not like it's a very easy path. You have to pass the exams and then uh, you can uh, like then you can have a career in Germany. Overall, people who have completed those things and are working are doing well. Okay. okay. Are doing well because there's a job opportunities, jobs are there. Uh, people after a couple of years of uh, assistant site, it is called, that is you are a basic primary trainee. Uh, you are not working as a full-fledged dentist. I mean, you are a dentist, but uh, you cannot work independently. You are working as a dentist under supervision. Okay. So that assistant site that is called, I have made a video about that uh, long back. I can share you the link. If you email me, I can share you the link to that. Okay. Uh, where I have explained the entire pathway. Uh, that that you can do and that time the money is less like you get less salary but then once you have the permanent license once you have work experience once you're allowed to work uh, independently then you can also become a partner in the clinic because uh, then there's a profit sharing uh, from the clinics that way dentistry becomes more profitable than a, a doctor like a resident doctor because resident doctors they have a fixed contracts and uh, they will be paid according to the contract which is available on the internet one can go and see okay third year resident how much will he earn it's given on the internet Okay. okay, but as a dentist, you can have your own negotiations with the the with the employer, and uh, you can have own like depending upon how good you are, how many patients, how how nicely patients uh, like feel with you. So you can uh, that way uh, financially, it's a good scope. Only thing is that initial couple of years are difficult because you have to pass the exams, like two exams, Fox Prak Proform, uh, Kentness Proform, and those are like they have a passing rate of 50 60 percent. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you uh, like uh, go through that, uh, I'm sure you will have a good career here. All okay. right. So, and, uh, so, uh, talk to, get some information about your uh, like application. Okay. Because it cannot happen that uh, like things are going on and you have no idea uh, who is doing it, what is doing it. And which, I mean, which state are you going to go? So that one is of your member. Yeah. From mm -hmm. your team. Uh, he's from Mumbai. That sir, mm -hmm. he handles. He talked to me on phone. Uh, so he guided me well and he only told me that Shruta, you attend this session directly with okay. you. Okay. Uh, okay. He had told him my complete story, what's going okay. on, what went right. on. Yeah, good. Then when you're in contact with our team, then I'm sure our team will uh, guide you uh, through the process. So uh, then it's okay. Then you are, I mean, uh, you can yeah. stay in touch with them. Yeah. So sir, um, you told me that August, so approx time, like how much months? See, uh, months? Yeah. Five to six months. Five, five to six, six months. months because I don't know which state they have sent it to. If they send it to Nidazaksan, then you can expect six months. If it has gone to uh, Northern Westfall, then three months. If it has gone to Bayern, then three, four months as well. So depending upon which state the application has been sent to, and that depending upon that, one can, uh, like the, the waiting time varies for the first response for the deficit beside that is. It can be Eingangsbestätigung. Eingangsbestätigung means a confirmation of uh, application, acknowledgement that, okay, you your documents have reached over there. 
that is Eingang's bestätigung. And then there is a deficit bestätigung where they have gone through your application and then they say that, okay, look, you have sent us these, these, these documents, but rest these documents are missing. Please send these documents as soon as possible. So there are two, do two documents uh, which will come to you. Okay, sir, last one. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, can you make a video, like if you, if you know any, the any of the dentists in working mm -hmm. in Germany, he can make yeah. a video or uh, we like, already have a video. We have a video of, of a dentist. about that. Yes, it's of a dentist. And we also have uh, you know, a consulting program dentist. So we are working equally for dentists as well as for, for, for MBBS doctors. And I have the video. I have an online course also for dentists, uh, which is on the website. All right. Okay. So uh, it is there. It is there. Please, please go and check on the website. And uh, if you have specific questions, then you can write it down. Uh, write, send us email and we will try to make more and more content uh, on YouTube for that. Okay. Thank you so much. Sir. Wonderful. Thanks. Great.